What is going on everyone? This is DK Magician and I welcome you to another Flash Showcase. The game I present you today is a classic tower defense game called Onslaught 2.2 which is a really interesting fun game and uh, let us play it. Uh, let's go in medium mode I guess. As for the maps I would say let's try the classic one. Welcome to One's Log 2.2. Press I to show this only time. Press key to refs. Okay, turns on. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, okay. Get the fences ready. Uh, let's get a cannon turret. Okay, let's go. Yay, our cannon can just get rid of these boys. But not of these red boys. So let's get a laser turret to help. Which will peel them all. Hopefully. Okay, our cannon is getting kinda useless now, so let's get a rocket boy. Which one shots these. Also, I'm setting like waves at the same time. Which I might want to take it easy, because this game is not very easy. So let's upgrade our towers as well. Let's go for more of these. And let's go for rate so it fires faster. And let's get a taser as well, because why not? Let's taste these guys. Taser uh, at higher levels will stun your enemies, which gives more time for our towers to shoot at them. So yeah, this is a simple, like, tower defense flash game as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice and there's more content to what it actually seems. As you keep upgrading your towers, you will get uh, better, uh, like better towers. And uh, upgrading uh, like, uh, like to the maximum will also unlock combo towers later in the game. Which I don't know if we'll survive until there, but they're pretty fun. Also lasers can combo with each other. And uh, if you do, they will get like better attacks, you know, like uh, they give power of one to the other, you know. And uh, they don't fire like this, that is what they're doing right now. Uh, let's get more damage on this guy, I'm depending on this guy quite a lot. You, we can get like to see the exact numbers if, you, if we want to. But yeah, you can see here that this guy deals 1.9k damage which one-shots enemies. Let's get him to fire faster. And one more just is 15. Yeah, that's why it's crappy and does nothing. <laughs> this one does deals 1.9k. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, in the beginning of the game, you probably want to go for this guy. He's good at one-shotting enemies, even though he fires quite slow. Now let's upgrade range a little bit and I'll show you something really funny that this guy can do when there are no enemies on the screen, like not right what we're doing at the moment, you know. See? He can have flying missiles around him, so he can stock some flying missiles and stuff, which is nice. Uh, let's make this cannon actually useful. How much do you do now? 1.2k. See? Now he's useful again. Towers can be useful if you upgrade them, like all towers, you know. Let's get some fire rate on this guy. He can do some really nice stuff at like very high combos, like very high fire rates. And the yeah, progression of this game is super simple. Uh, the enemies will give you, the, like the money they give you is the, the exact uh, level you are at the moment. So, as for the difficulty, I don't really know how it progresses. All I know is that we got to upgrade our towers, otherwise we get overwhelmed. But yeah, I'll try to play decently enough. Okay, here's what happens when we upgrade this guy. He can just go into freakout from time to time, and he just shoots extremely fast. Which is pretty good, and helps getting rid of the enemies. So they, he warns you when he's going to like to start shooting like that, and you can send like waves or uh, like when uh, he warns you to do that. And you can see that the appearance of like the, sh the, the towers changes as well, like of their missiles. Let's send a few and watch him clean up. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. Good job, Cannon. Good job. So you can see that that you can see that it now fires like these red missiles or these red uh, things, cannonballs. And now they are like redder, you know. They they just change appearance, which is a nice touch to this game, I guess. Same with these guys' missiles. Uh, it can just uh, switch like their appearance. Uh, what do we get? Uh, new weapon available, range up. Eh, I don't think we're gonna use that. Uh, but we definitely need to upgrade this guy to deal more damage. Uh, okay, pretty good. Oh, no, 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 I think we're gonna lose lives now. Because, well, maybe not. Now, let's try and... Uh, Upgrade one of my towers to the maximum power. I think I go with this guy. Probably. Or maybe even this guy. Yeah, time to clean up. Good. And we unlock another tower to damage up. Damage up can be useful, but it's very expensive. I don't like that. And it only gives 40%, you can probably buy better towers. Uh, with like that kind of cash, or better upgrades, you know. Yeah, I don't really know. It's good. Maybe not good enough for me. Okay, I can send a few more comfortably now, because this thing two shots them. Yeah, the cannon is... Shame that it only is good when it's like... Shooting like this, you know, which obviously doesn't happen always. Let's upgrade this guy. He's almost at full damage. Still two shots enemies, so that is pretty good. And uh, we should probably start working on combos. I don't know the combos by my head, which is pretty bad. So. I guess we try and do some simple ones, I don't really know which ones I'll try to. But yeah, if you get max damage uh, upgraded towers uh, close to each other, they can perform combos. What did one lock rates? Uh, yeah, this is a bad tower. <laughs> Gives you more rates because it's damage eh, and range. So let's try and max upgrade one of these boys as well help the first one. Let's give him some rate of fire as well. Yeah, this, this is now a 3 shot, so that's not very good. Uh, maybe I should have played this on easy? Perhaps, because I think I'm gonna lose. And that is not very good. Ah, yeah, these guys take so much damage. Die, holy crap. Shoot the other one. Like the oh no, the one up, up, up. Holy crap. No. Okay, I lose two lives. That's not nice for the guys that are like inside the area 51. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Um, but yeah, let us still keep going for what we were trying to do, which is getting some max upgraded towers. Which, as I said, I don't remember exactly which combos well, but... Ah, well. It's okay. Let's get two of these as a maximum upgrade first and see what happens. I think you get one with the laser as well, so that's a good thing. We should probably upgrade the laser next. These guys are starting to deal just not enough damage, you know. Okay. At least now we got two of them at the maximum. Let's go for the cannon, I guess. Here, right here. And let's probably not send more waves now, because it's dangerous. And we can get overwhelmed. Maybe we get some range on these guys, so we can get like those flying missiles around him too. Okay. Decent, I guess. Pretty decent. Yeah, 
see all these nice missiles going around them. That's what we want. Uh, let us go for more damage. Let's send the next wave immediately after this one finishes. Yeah, this should still help. Yes, it does. Okay, but after these, we should be fine. After we get, like... What do we get now? Uh, range up, exchange, no. I don't like exchange towers. <laughs> they increase one stat and decrease the other. No, 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 not gonna happen in my sight. If I get towers, it's only more damage towers. I've also already seen people doing like incredible combos with lasers and stuff. But yeah, not gonna do that. Nope, nope, nope. Let's just play normal, you know. With all these weird combos, which I don't know how to play with them, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you can do that, I guess. Build a long chain of like this and they increase damage. I think they multiply damage, not just add. That's why they deal so much damage. Okay, uh, these missiles are starting not to be enough. They deal... Like what, you need 5 or 6 to take them out? That's not very good. But hopefully after we get one more damage upgrade, they should start firing combos. I don't know if this is a combo or not. I hope it is. Otherwise, I might be screwed. Uh, probably it's not. Ah, uh, well... Yeah, it's probably not. I oh no, it is, it is. Have you seen that? That explosion? Uh, you see, they fire at the same time, sort of, and then they do a combo attack like this, and yeah, see? That explosion that just happened? That deals incredible damage. Like a ton of damage, way more than the damage that my towers are currently doing. So that's why we have to go for those, we just max upgrade towers. I know a very simple combo if is these two right here, like two cannons. So we'll try and do uh, one of those as well. It still deals decent damage when it just goes into freakout. I can probably send more towers because, yeah, because when these combos happen they just clean up, you know, but just like that, you know. But yeah, let's try and have more max up towers together to do combos, like this couple here. They do a simple but effective combo, if I recall. Yeah, the only thing is that it's pretty unreliable and don't know where we're going to get it. Yeah, just that combo, just a simple explosion deal a ton of damage. What did we unlock? Rate up. Rate up is pretty fun, actually. But I still probably don't want to buy that. <laughs> yeah, boom! Mines. Mines are nice. Uh, let us also upgrade... I don't really know. Maybe a taser max upgrade that does something useful? I don't really know. Uh, so let's do that, I guess. Uh, max damage. Let's see if we get a new combo. Uh, yes, we do. We do get like a weird super missile that fires, you know, at the enemies. And uh, you can actually let the game... Oh, look, look at that. It's just a chain explosion. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, you can just let these guys together and just wait until time passes. And they will keep producing mines. And yeah, if you don't send too much, look at what just happened. The combo of these and these just created these, like, missile that fires electrical things. We can probably go to the options and send next wave immediately. So that we always have enemies, you know. Oh, now it just two shots them. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, let us buy rate on this guy because it can go into freakout as well. 
I think we send another one. Uh, yeah, let's just hope that these mines still do a lot of damage, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> Pretty beautiful. Uh, what do we get now? Big damage plus. I think I'm gonna get this, because I think it affects almost as well. So, might as well get one here. This is a quite big expanding tour, so I hope it's pretty good. Okay, now it affects a ton of towers, so... Hopefully it's useful. What do we get next? Uh, messages, damage bigger, okay. Do we just disable to, like, the, the horn when we send the next one? Let's remove this. And... Okay. Decent cleanup. Yeah, we depend on combos. Solely combos, not direct damage. Let's upgrade the laser now. See if it can do some combos of his own as well. And yeah, somehow I disabled the horn so you no longer hear the da -da sounds. And yeah, uh, regular attacks are now pretty useless. Big damage plus minus. I don't like minus, so. I'll rather stick to this one. Let's buy maybe one of these. And yeah, you can see that it fired like a blue missile. I think that this blue missile is these plus these, but I'm not really sure. These towers flash when they fire a combo, like they flash together. Like, pay attention to these two. See? When they fire the, like, uh, mine, they just, uh, they just did that, they, they just uh, flash it, you know, together, signaling that they did a combo. Whoa, that's a big green explosion, which slows enemies, slowing is nice. And we're getting a ton of cash now. I feel safe to send a few more rounds, I guess. Hopefully we still deal enough damage. Hopefully. We get a targeter, which I don't know what it does. I think you can switch targets with this tower, like... But I'm not gonna use that, because it deals no damage at all, and yeah, I don't know how to use that. Uh, maybe we build some, like, more combos, I guess. Now, there is a way to make this game go into, like, infinite. It has to do with these yellow towers where they can create voids on the map, but that uh, is not fun. That is not fun because it deals infinite damage and the game can drag forever, basically. And you don't get cash for these kills, so that's not the way we are going to play. And now you can see that we have entered a stage where my combos no longer one-shot enemies. Now they two-shot them, like this, you can see. Gets at 45 HP and then, you know, it doesn't kill. So that means we have some trouble. We have to hold on with our combo towers for long enough. And hopefully, uh, just survive. Until we get, like, the ultimate towers. Is it one of these now? Okay, we get the sniper tower. So let's get one of these. I don't really know, it has so much range, we can place it probably right here, I guess. And let's upgrade it. This thing one-shots enemies. The damage it deals is absolutely incredible, like... 3 million damage without upgrades. Which can be upgraded for, uh, like, uh, more damage. 7 million! Uh, so let's try and go for uh, 15 million. And yeah, right now it's a one shot. It won't be a one shot forever, mind you, but uh, it's good enough for now. Let's upgrade his rate of fire so it actually we can actually send a few waves and have our like sniper deal with it. Uh, yeah, more waves, please. I don't care about combos now, all I care is about sniper cleaning up. 
More rate of fire. Maybe I said too much because this guy kills one at a time. Fusion. A fusion. We have no money for the fusion, but I'm gonna show it off when I can. Whoa, this missile was pretty beautiful. Did you see that? Colorful, colorful my missile, you know? And... Uh, yeah, new weapon available, fusion. I'm gonna show it uh, when I can. When I have enough cash. Honestly, I think it's not as good as Sniper, but it's pretty okay. Uh, maybe I need one more Sniper now, because... Because uh, we can send that many enemies because it has a limited like rate of fire, you know. So yeah, let's place a fusion now. And what does fusion do? Fusion will collect from other towers and then like this. It collects damage, it gets brighter and then fuses it all together and fires on a single missile or a single damage. It has a fixed damage, which is lower than the, like the sniper, but uh, if you can put a lot of wood towers together, it like close to it, they will absorb like it will absorb a ton of damage, and it also absorbs the stuns from the yellow towers. So that is pretty good, pretty cool. And the last weapon that we are going to unlock is the railgun, which fires a rail of fire. In Again, doesn't deal as much damage as the sniper, but uh, it fires at several enemies, and that is definitely a blessing, which we definitely need. And we've reached a point where the sniper no longer kills enemies with one shot, so it's time to upgrade the damage of the sniper. But yeah, you can see that this game is coming to an end because. Like, my most damaging towers do not one-shot, and you probably have to resort to those towers that deal infinite damage, or those combos that deal infinite damage, because they do exist. Uh, but I kinda feel not like doing that, you know? Uh, because, yeah, the game can last forever, as I said, which is not what I want. And yeah, the last that you can unlock is combo only. Combo only, which does what the name suggests. It basically unlocks. Put, you put it together where towers can combo each other, and basically it fires only combos. But you need to have put them in range, so let's actually sell this. Uh, where is the thing to sell? Well, I don't want to sell this actually. So I'll rather just do it with these, I guess. Uh, come on, place it. You can see that the combo only is turning blue, so that means it will uh, fuse these together into a blue combo tower, which is this cannon right here, which has a ton of range and only fires uh, like uh, uh, these things, like these uh, mines. It doesn't do damage, just does combos. It's what combo only does. Which is pretty okay, I guess. Uh, combos still deal a ton of damage. Maybe not as much as Ultimate Towers, but you can rely on combo only a lot, you know. Uh, let me let me actually sell these, and I'll put a combo only in the middle of it, I guess. See what kind of things can we do. So general sell, and now let's put a combo only here. Or I oh, can't. I I can't. Oh man, I screwed up. Let us sell these. So, uh, game message general, sell, and let's sell this as well, and let's put the combo only here, and see what can, type, type of combo we can do, we can do a, you can actually do three types of combos, when they get like flashing like this, you can select the type of combo only you want to do, let's try the yellow one, or, Oh, and it looks like I freeze the game! <laughs> no! Why did I do this? <laughs> well, maybe it has to do with the interaction of fusion and uh, uh, these uh, like, uh, combo tower that I was doing. 
And yeah, I broke it. I broke it. Oh no, I broke the game. <laughs> so yeah, pretty anticlimactic ending, I guess. I couldn't really show the railgun, but yeah, the railgun is just it. It fires a missile, and uh, yeah, it's better than the sniper. But uh, you you don't go too far with railguns only. You just go with uh, like combos, like combos towers. And uh, I'll try to search online for the the place where you can search for the combos. So maybe you can uh, see them all. If you really want to, I can just do a video where I show off the combos as well, only the combos. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, sorry for this anticlimactic ending again, <laughs> where we just broke the game. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it happens, and uh, yeah, that will be all for this video. I hope you still enjoy it, this uh, flash showcase. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one. Bye bye.